Here's an inspiring story that truly fuels the soul, and we're encouraged to have young people like this for our future. A special honor for a Valley teen for something he's done special for someone else. Tess Raffles brings us this inspirational story. Two teenage boys different at first glance, but share the same spirit. Their friendship has brought them on a unique journey. For your gracious care and service towards your fellow man by sharing your strength, ability, and unselfish attitude, I, John Lewis, mayor of the town of Gilbert, wish to give you this award. The American Spirit Award recognizes individuals who ex demonstrate extraordinary skill, professionalism, and a spirit of excellence in challenging situations. Our awardee today, 13-year-old Spencer Zimmerman, a life scout from Gilbert, Arizona, certainly fits that demonstration. Dayton has cerebral palsy. He can't talk or uh, communicate that well, but you can feel his spirit wherever he is. He's a great friend to me. He should have the opportunity to do what everybody else does. Spencer knelt down right in front of Dayton and grabbed him on his knees and he said, Dayton, would you like to do a triathlon with me? Dayton doesn't communicate other than he'll blink for yes and he won't blink for no. And he started blinking and he said, Dad, he said yes. It was a different experience than the other triathlons I've done because when I got on that bike, it felt harder pulling someone else with me the entire way. I knew that Dayton was within five feet of me the whole time, and it was awesome to know that there was someone else there, one of my really good friends that could be with me. I've learned great lessons of love and uh, a boy that does what Christ would do if he were here and um, fulfilling his responsibility as a, as a Deacon's Corn president and as a friend. Near the finish line was very spiritual for Dayton and I because I felt that I was like out of juice, I was out of energy, but then like I don't even know where it came from. Dayton started smiling and I started to speed up and I had the energy to sprint the last few hundred yards into the finish line and I just felt great at the finish line. I didn't feel like I was drained of my energy. I felt that the spirit was there helping Dayton and I to finish that race. When Spencer came to us and, and said he wanted to do a triathlon with Dayton, it, uh, you know, it was just another step in life and it, it was just really exciting because um, Dayton loves to be with the boys. He loves hanging out with them. He loves, uh, he loves being around them and so when Spencer showed interest in in actually competing with Dayton, um, that was an exciting thing for us. My motivation was just the thought of that everybody should be able to participate in something that a group or uh, some friends are doing, like the triathlon. Everyone was going to do it except for Dayton because he wasn't able to do it by himself and I think that everybody should be included no matter what their challenges are. He doesn't want to look like the hero at all. He wants Dayton to look like the hero and he's just Dayton's legs. Dayton's mom has thanked us as parents, you know, thank you for your boys for including them, and, and we are saying no, thank you, because there, our boys are getting an opportunity to learn and to grow because of Dayton, because he is such a, an incredible boy. Anywhere he goes, you feel his love and his spirit that is um, that just radiates. In behalf of Dayton and I, we would like to thank the Arizona Interfaith Movement for the Golden Rule Award. It is a great opportunity to be a part of it. I'd never expected to go this far and do this great a thing. Spencer Zimmerman, 
and Dayton Hayward, ladies and gentlemen. Um, well, thank you for the opportunity to be here. I'm, I'm really grateful. I know Dayton's grateful as well because he doesn't, um, doesn't have to say anything. Um, <laughs> um, if there's just one thing, I'm going to be brief here. If there's one thing I could leave here uh, with something, something leaving your, leaving your mind here, it would be something that a church leader once told me. It was um, act on every worthy thought. And I know that if you guys act on every worthy thought you have, nothing but good will come from it. And I know that um, service isn't just to be recognized as something as incredible as this, but it should be behind the scenes, the people that don't go out for the recognition. It is a great thing to serve someone and do something kind, just like everyone here has done before, and not look for the recognition or the award or anything big. It's always just, you got to do it behind everything, in the shadows. You got you to gotta be that one person that uh, stands out but doesn't stand out. You have to do the right thing, even when... No one else is doing it. You know, that kid, he looks different, he dresses different. That's not what it's about. You've got to always be looking for the person that needs help, no matter what their challenges are, what they look like, how they dress. It's not like that. you always got to be looking for people that need help or situations that you know you can go and assist someone. And i just like to, again, repeat what a church leader once told me, act on every worthy thought. And I know if you do that, your lives will be blessed. And what you guys are doing is a great thing, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to be here, and I know Dayton is too. Thank you. A really big one for a couple of heroes, okay? Wow. Hey, Spencer, when you're old enough to run for public office, would you let me know? I want to vote for both of them. <laughs>